Well, a preview for 2016 indoor. First, I'll start with female team. Uh, we have retained two national champions in Yanni Ellington and LaDonna Richards in the hurdles. And we also returned Javier Hall, who was, I think, fifth or sixth of the eight. And Monique Thompson, who, was, who also made the final of the gate entry. Now, along with that four, and we got some new kids in, all being well, but it's still healthy. We, we, we should be very competitive in the female team for indoors, both at the conference level and at the national level, barring any injury or barring any unforeseen circumstances. We got some new kids in. We got a hurdler, we got a 2 4 quarter mile, and we got a jumper. So these three, along with the other four, should put us in good stead to be very competitive in the men's side they have brought in some sprinters. Brought in two sprinters, very good sprinters, and a good quarter mile. Those along with Miguel Barton and the jumpers. We should have a good core to be in the third fourth position in the conference. At the national level now, I don't know where well that we will be, but I know they are working hard and they're gonna get their best. And that's all I can ask of them for this year, for next year. For both teams, what do you think the ceiling is for how good they can be? Well, the women team indoors, they can be the best. The men, I had some good guys who I was recruiting, but for different reasons, I lost them for January, you know, a lot of issues. They wanted to come, but I lost them. With those three kids, we would have been unbeatable on the men's side, but such is life when it came as sports. Men's side, I think we will be better outdoor than indoor. Because most of the top guys are not built to run indoor. But bearing in mind that Pittsburgh is a 300 track, you know, you never know what can happen. But the men's team should be better than last year. But winning, nah, I don't sure about that. But we'll be, we be in the top 10 nationally, definitely. Conference, we don't have the numbers, but we'll be competitive. We should dominate the sprint to 1, 2, 4. Out of 62 and the 4 indoor, and a really 4 5 4, we should dominate that. You have, uh, I believe, two regular season meets in Pittsburgh State this indoor season. And then you also have uh, the MIAA championships and the national championships there. Uh, is that part of the strategy to try and have yep. your athletes uh, accustomed to that stadium? Yep, that's exactly the strategy. They have a next meet in February also, but it clashed with the Purdue Fred Wilmore. Invitation and Purdue invites us up personally to come and compete that day. That is why we're not going to that day on the, I think it's the 12th, 13th of February. You know, so Purdue, the head coach, and I are friends and they invite us up every year to come and compete against them. But that's exactly the strategy. We should be competing on, on Pittsburgh track four times. So by nationals, those who are going to run good should be ready, especially the two four people. You've already mentioned some people, but on both teams, who are uh, a few of the athletes that you expect some really big things of this year? Well, I expect Yannick to defend our title in the 200. Our greatest threat, our greatest problem should be, that's a good problem to have, should be from us. We have a new girl, a grad student who is here, that should be our greatest threat for the Baker. So, if those two ding-dong battle for one, two, am I? In the hurdles also, Madonna should repeat as champion. And her greatest threat again is somebody who I brought in, Christian McCarthy. So if they if they back for one two, I'll be okay. You know, on the men's side, as I said, we have Miguel returning, who is running style though super indoor, but on the bigger track, should be high. Then we have a very good quarter mile with him by the name of Fabian Rice. Technically, I think he's better than Miguel. And we have two sprinters in Rose and Robertson. So those two guys along with those two and hopefully our jumpers, which are very good, can produce on the day. They always jump good before, but at national conference they don't produce. That's Sadiqi Edwin, Eddie, Arnelda Thomas, and Owen Smith. We have three very good uh, jumpers who should help. And then all being well, I have a one father and a half mile coming in January along 
with Jerome and Riley, we have two good half milers. So we have some unknown factor in the captain Roger Blake, who sometimes he runs good, sometimes he don't. Hopefully he will run well this year. And if everybody turns up and do their best, I'm not promised. I don't think we can win the conference because we ain't got much chores and longer events, but we should be competitive. All right. Thanks for your time, Coach. Good luck this season. All right.